Have you ever been in a relationship when you only seen that people just want to reap the benefits and not really get the relationship? Man, how harsh is that? But have you ever thought about that we do the same to God? Y'all, let's talk about this. Come on, y'all, grab your cup, and let's fill this cup up so we can pour up this tea today. Good morning, good morning, y'all. Y'all, I know y'all got y'all cups ready. I know y'all ready to be poured into y'all. Y'all, let's get ready to fill these cups up. Heavenly Father, use me as you please and decrease me. Allow your Holy Spirit speak through me, Lord. Lord, forgive us. And Lord, just allow your words to speak through me. And Lord, touch each and every individual that's at the sound of my voice. Lord, we thank you. And fill us up, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Y'all, I see, I see this title. And I know you see it. That it tells us we want the benefits of God. But we certainly don't want this relationship with God. I know I do. But I know in general, a lot of us don't want this relationship because we feel as if it's too much of a commitment. Like, why do I need this? Like, uh, it's just too much. Is it too much because of a lot of things that we heard about it? Is it too much because what we seen or that I got to give up too much? This too much for me. Right. It's kind of like, you know, but we cannot look at, you know, the carnal things of relationships that we are in. But let's kind of break it, break it down a little bit so we can have some understanding. Because, you know, in this life, we have a lot of relationships that we do deal with. And so we have some understanding because, you know, sometimes in this life. We deal with love relationship, friendship, co-ships, um, workships, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, if they see potential from you and they see what you got, oh, they're going to say, oh, hey, you know, they want to they wanna know of you and see what you do. But the sign of they really don't really want to get to know you, they just want to see the different benefits that you have, right? People want to reap the benefits of you. And how you know that and the red flags of that? They're constantly going to say, well, how do you do this? How can I get that? Can you help me with this? Because I really need help with this. And they will always call you. Right? They will always call you. And then when it's done, you don't hear from them. Right? And then you hear something that you told somebody. And it's like, how you know about this? Oh, so-so told me this. And you're like, oh, okay. But they won't say that you told them. They'll get the credit because they act like they did, they did something. But they got the benefits from you. Right? But however, this person basically only know of you but know nothing about you because all they was doing was reaping the benefits of what you had. They don't want nothing else. They don't want nothing that can connect something deeper where, 
we can have a bond to grow and be able to have a certain connection with one another, right? The benefits of a relationship, no matter what type of relationship it is, it should be something where, okay, if I need you, we're going to be there for each other regardless of a circumstance that or we'll be able to pour and give benefits to one another. Now, let's clear this up because a lot of people take benefits, you know, out of context. But benefits should be able to help one another, uplift, support you know what I'm saying? Leaning on one another, teaching one another, you know, loving one another, that we can help one another, right? Because Jesus, he shows a heart of a servant. And a lot of people say a servant heart? What a servant heart? I have to be they may No, God gave Jesus a servant heart to show that you teach them. To show them this is how you love, right? You, When you serve, we are teaching. We are guiding. We are helping one another. We are coming in unity. But people take the word benefits as I'm going to take from you. I'm going to give you something. And this is all you get. And that's why we have to read between this line because people will take the benefits from you and no benefits will. It is sometimes it's the thing that tend to um, seem as if it drains. Like you just took something from me, but y'all, that's where you draw your lines. And no, it's so important for us to discern the spirit. And that's why. God limits how much he give to us because God know when we just come into him and say, God, I need this. Because if you do this, Lord, I'll, I'll come back. I'll do this. No, God, no. You know what to do. Yeah, I'll do this. But you come back the next time and say, duh, duh, duh. oh, he you know, I'm cutting this off until I know your sincere heart because he'll do it. But remember, next time, oh, there may be a timing on it to that relationship that you really want with God. Because we always say, God, I promise I'll do this. But that relationship with God is so important. Because right now, you only know of him. You heard of him. You seen the benefits, but some of us still don't believe what he had dropped, you know, the blessings over your life because you're still complaining about it. You know what God has done for you, and you still over here like, what? Y'all, stop trying to rip God off as if he haven't did anything. And stop trying to use him up and then pull him out in tough time. Pull them out in tough times, good times, in different times, whenever, every day. Because you don't know what's going on in your everyday life, okay? But this relationship with God should be um, indefinitely. Like, I need him all the time. This relationship with God should be so deep. Why it should be so deep? Because people constantly want to distract you off your track and God is the one that can give you can give you everything that you need to guide you on this natural journey that you're on he will give you the spiritual tools to say okay okay daughter you go this way okay son uh uh-uh do it this way Mm -mm, they ain't for you he will give you the peace that you felt that uh -uh, this too much lord i can't do it but god said yeah you can do this he will give you a love when you feel like you can love these people that did you wrong right he'll allow you to go all the way and let me tell you something yes in this life we have done wrong to people and it may feel as if you did you know 
felt like yeah i find myself like i was just reaping the benefits of people and not the relationship there's um relationships that you had you was all all the way in and you wasn't just you know reaping the benefit and you grew and all that other stuff yeah there's relationships like that because there's people that still you know they grow and they learn and all this other stuff but you find people where they just come in just because they know you have something they just want the potential of you they don't want oh I just need some words of encouragement. I just need this. I just, you know, they just going to want what you can do, what you can give, right? They don't want, you know, mm-mm. no, I don't need to hear all that. I don't want to, you know, they just limit to, no, well, you limit them to what you do for them, Okay. Y'all, a relationship with God is so important because God want to grow you from the inside and out. But you have so much in the inside that he want to grow you. This will help you to deal with what's on the outside. Your spiritual will help you to move things on the outside that you just don't see. Okay? Y'all. Make sure you get to know God and not just know of him. Just because, oh, God, you blessed me this morning. And there's somebody, how did he bless me? Well, I mean, I woke up. How how you woke up? What did you do? Then you came and, uh, yeah, I, I mean, he did. I, I'm blessed. Because you ask somebody, how they blessed? They sometimes, I'm just blessed. They can't explain it. they just saying it because they heard it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, get to know God for yourself. Get so personal with God, you can give them a scripture, okay? Give them a scripture. Give them a encouragement. Give them a testimony, okay? You don't got to get too personal with them and tell them the goodness of God. A relationship, okay? Y'all, I pray that this has helped you. I pray that your cup has been filled, knowing that God is good in y'all. I'd rather have the relationship with God than just reaping a benefit. Because when you have a relationship with God, the benefits comes with it. Why would you want to just be limited? Come on, y'all. Y'all want the unlimited package. Come on. Come on. Y'all. All All right, y'all. I pray y'all cups have been filled and y'all can pour into somebody else, y'all. Whew, Jesus, y'all have an amazing day. And y'all, I will talk to y'all soon. Y'all, make sure y'all click the links in the description, y'all. And y'all, y'all can access my free How to Build a Relationship with God, y'all. If y'all want to start learning how to build a relationship, even if you need a refresher, y'all this is for you it's a mini course y'all and like i said y'all i will be coming with a webinar with a segment of building relationship with god y'all so it is a webinar lord willing it'll be coming out next month so make sure y'all stay on a watch for that so, y'all, I pray y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. But before we get out of here, we're going to pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you humble as we know how, Lord, ask you to forgive us for all our sins. We said then that was not like you, Lord. Lord, I ask you to touch each and every individual as the sound of my voice. And, Lord, we thank you for everything that you have done with us, Lord. And, Lord, I ask you to touch each and every individual. Lord, allow us to continue to grow this relationship with you, Lord. And, Lord, thank you for loving us lord lord thank you for teaching us lord lord help us to serve others like you have serving us lord teach us love us lord lord giving us peace when we felt like we didn't have it lord lord we thank you for your grace and your mercy lord lord thank you for everything you have done in your son jesus name we pray amen y'all make sure y'all share this with someone y'all i love y'all lord willing 
I will talk to y'all next Monday. But y'all, I y'all know I go live, so talk to y'all soon. May you all be blessed and blessings to you. Mm-hmm.